good afternoon everyone today we have the privilege of speaking with dr sd sudarshan sir the executive director of cdac bangalore on the momentous occasion of the signing of moa with vignan university this collaboration marks a significant step forward in the fields of research development and education focusing on emerging technologies such as artificial intelligence high performance computing cyber security and more sir thank you so much for joining us today we are excited to learn more about this collaboration and what it means for the students faculty and broader community to start could you please share your thoughts on primary goals of this partnership between cdac and vignan university so namaste thank you very much uh, for having us here and vignan university with the uh, nir of ranking as 75 at this point is doing a great service and it has multiple schools and disciplines and today's technology economy society requires collaboration and everything digital nobody can do it alone and this moe paves the way for us to create a fully developed vikasit bharat vikas students who typically learn theory and little bit lab will now get a chance to do little beyond that from a applied research perspective and the r&d and engineering that cdac does so we collaborate and this allows us to introduce industry oriented curriculum and the student get access to what is happening in the latest and the syllabus and curriculum gets revised faster because as part of mou there will be lot of joint activities and the exposure to each other what is the current situation of academic is needed for cdac also to decide how do we grow the new new man, upcoming manpower so it is going to be helping in this one direction the second direction is the interdisciplinary approach that will get a better visibility when the students are right up from beginning exposed to interdisciplinary activities which will make our engineers into an entrepreneur engineers because they will see value so instead of looking for job they can do a startup incubation it is an opportunity that we can do third thing that we are looking at is beyond engineering and technology we want a mentally healthy strong society who can lead so we will be connecting aspects of health aspects of technology aspects of science as much as possible in the joint program that we will conduct in addition to that the opportunity to mentor jointly is will be an eye opener for the students for the academician the faculty here and for the researchers at cdac so all the three will benefit by seeing each other's way of working and thinking so our solutions will be more scalable more usable more deployable uh, so as a full i am looking at a, a holistic growth and a, so win win situation which will take us forward and make both the institutions grow significantly better than what we will do each other independently that is what we are looking at thank you sir such a valuable information you have been shared with us i have one more question sir what are the long term goals of this collaboration and how will this continue to benefit students in the coming years students point of view definitely uh, earlier as i mentioned one is the jointly defining a problem statement that is a value so students get a idea of what kind of problems industry actually is facing or research is currently doing rather than looking at what was done in the past make a minor change so the so projects will be more realistic and from cdac side also we will get exposure to how people of this region are feel, feeling because india is a diverse country with diverse population uh, the problems are different which are you know uh, each region has its own unique set there will be a variant and the moment we come to know our solutions will become more robust so 
from a student point of view they are getting a good problem which is relevant which is solving their own problem which creates a larger commitment in terms of longer term collaboration we are not looking at projects only for btechs or you know undergraduates we are looking at joint phd guidance which is a 3 to 5 year timeline and many a times at the end of a phd if the solution is a great engineering solution they will open an industry on their own so we actually enable a industry connect from beginning and any industry now we are seeing in most of the top institute you see they have a research park where they incubate and the professors are mentors so the the industry is growing along with the faculty and the faculty is getting to see how the research reaches the common man and creating economic value other than research value and the moment economic value is seen the relationship is automatically long term uh, i think we are creating a relationship for lifetime rather than doing it for a purpose of a degree or a certificate uh, that that is what we are looking at it meanwhile it also gives opportunity for the students who are appropriately found uh, mutually beneficial they may come to bangalore get exposure to a metropolis city and talk to a different type of community versus uh, what they will get only in vikyan similarly our engineers when they can come here as a guest faculty or you know to conduct some programs they get exposed to what the students are thinking what the economic uh, environmental situation is here uh, the thought process this cross flow of ideas is always a germination point for new ideas and i feel as i said it is a lifetime uh, relationship that will be built that is how i see it uh, degree and certificates are just a side effects not the main goal these are just the milestones part of the journey uh, this is how we are looking at it thank you very much sir for your valuable information and insightful uh, things what you have been shared with us we definitely looking forward for the long term relationship with cdac bangalore team and thank you very much for your this thing sir uh, thank, thank you, you and yes. uh, wish you all the best and uh, our best wishes to the students current and future uh, who will get benefited and in turn we also will get benefited thank you so much thank you very much sir